Have you participated in an ayahuasca journey before? If yes, what is your biggest fear before going? You know, I think the important thing is to not fear, actually. I don't think that it's about fear. And I know a lot of people fear because they don't want to lose their mind. They don't know what they're going to be shown. Um, and I get that. I don't go into any journey uh, with the idea of fear. I do feel ang like a, an anxiousness sometimes, like, ah, you know, and I think that's really coming from an aspect of my mind that knows that it's going to lose its job, um, at least for the ceremony and hopefully more and more and more in our life because we want to have the mind in the back seat and the soul in the driver's seat so i would say that if you're considering doing an ayahuasca journey and you're wondering you know what to watch out for when it comes to fear i would say just don't fear it because what we you know think about comes about and so if you go into a journey very fearful um it's just not it's not a nice feeling and it's unnecessary so really try to just be in that I guess I'll say mind control, like don't allow your mind to control you, <laughs> be in control of it from the standpoint of connection to your higher self, right? That you want, you don't actually want to be in control of anything. You just want to be in the divine flow. And the other thing I would say about an ayahuasca journey is I think it's always about asking to be shown, you know, please show me. And when you go in with that innocence of please show me, you know, here's my dilemma, here's my problem, here's why I'm here, please show me. Then just trust, not fear, but trust that Aya is going to show you the way. Um, I have had ayahuasca journeys. I am a big um, advocate of ayahuasca in a safe set and setting with, some, with a server who really is trained and has a lot of experience working with the medicine. It's incredibly important that you're in a sacred space and that you also have great integration work afterwards, right? So this is the the start of a, of a journey is only the start of a journey, <laughs> the start of an ayahuasca journey, because really it's about the integration. You get show, you can get shown a lot of great things, a lot of bad things, a lot of, you know, it's not about good or bad or great or not, but whatever you get shown, it really is only helpful if you do something about it afterwards, which sometimes means changing some things about your life, about yourself, about your thought process. Otherwise, we'll just reincorporate a similar belief system back in. So don't fear. Um, go in with, with great curiosity. Go in with great um, openness to seeing and hearing uh, whatever it is that the grandmother has to show you. And if you're interested, uh, on bethbell.me, there's the psychedelic resource guide. I think you'll really find it helpful. There's so many tips, tools in there about planning a ceremony. The, I think it's the top 12 things to know. It was top 10, but it kept growing <laughs> um, before setting up a ceremony for any psychedelic. So bethbell.me, the psychedelic resource guide is an incredible guide um, to help you really answer some some questions before going in. And even if you're a seasoned psychonaut, I think there's still some great pearls of wisdom in there. All right. Again, if you have any thoughts or comments, I'm happy to hear them um, down below. Please let me know. And we'll move on to the next question. Thank you for your questions. Your questions are everyone else's questions in some way, shape, or form. There's so much to glean from one another that I really encourage you, even if it's not your question, but it's something you're like, yeah, I see a lot of people pondering this. Please submit the question. You can submit it here on YouTube in the comments below and go to bethbell.me. You'll see a lot, a lot of new resources that are coming available or are already available. There's the mentor membership programs. There's a lot of handbooks, workbooks, the awakening and healing handbook. There's the psychedelic resource guide, the herpes handbook. There's my book, angels, herpes, and psychedelics. Lots of different things that are available products that'll help you for your symbols and empowerment to keep your intentions and your desires. I can't wait to see you next week. Please join me live Sundays, 11, 11 a.m. Pacific time. And until then, I'm wishing you much bliss and love on the journey.